This is uh, four cups of flour. Had it proofing for two hours. Just gonna get it out. Yeah, we're just gonna cut this in half. So we're going to make like two 18 inch, I'm sorry, 16 inch pizzas with this. Four cups of flour and let me know how big these are. We're going to be using our screen, 16 inch, some parchment paper, brown stick. We'll go ahead and spray this. Our dough on there, start pressing it flat. Stretch it out. Got the old rolling pin. Makes everything easier. And we're looking for a nice thin crust, so this is definitely going to help us achieve. Our and here we have roughly about 16 inches. Go with some low moisture mozzarella. It's always best to shred your own cheese rather than using the packaged ones. It doesn't have the the uh, sticky that agent that's on the cheese that helps keep it from clumping up in the bag. So that stuff burns a little faster in the oven. I mean, you can use it, but it's always better to grate your own. Should be enough for pizza number one. And we'll do a little bit more for pizza number two. Today we're gonna to be using crushed tomatoes by Cento. I like this brand. So first we're gonna go on with the crushed tomato. Um, next we're going to add a little garlic salt, sprinkle that on, next we're going to go on with a little bit of oregano. And start putting the cheese on. This cheese will melt and spread out, so you want to overload it. It's a nice even coat. Some original Hormel pepperoni. Putting them on there. more about done it's ready to go I'm gonna get that in the oven and then work on the the original one <laughs> we're gonna do this second one just cheese right then just start working it out Roll this one out And we're going with our sauce. Some garlic salt on this one. The Italian seasoning on this one. Now we pile on the cheese. This one's going to be like an extra cheese for the kids. 
I got this bacon steel in there probably for like an hour and a half by now. Just gonna put it in there using the screen. Slide it right off. And this is the second one that'll be going in. So we got it at 500 degrees, ripping hot. All right, guys, let's have a look. Ooh. That is looking good. Pizza number two going in. Sorry for the shaky camera. And that's what we do. We use the screen. It can cook on the parchment paper, no problem. I'll show you how the other one came out while this one cooked. So we're gonna let this one cool off. Nice and thin, crispy. I like to go on with a little grated Parmesan while it's nice and hot. So start melting right in there. Give it some extra flavor. All right, let's have a look at the cheese one. Whoa, that's hot. Nice. Still bubbling. And this is the cheese one. Looking good. Gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. Yeah. You can talk, man. Put into this. This one smells so good. Nice and fresh. Oh, let's give it a taste. Nice thin crust. Mm. Super hot. Came out good.